Hello and welcome back to Planning with Jamie. Today we're going to do a quick flip through of my May Franken planner. So I have a lot of you guys asking how to combine planners of different sizes and this is the exact example that I want to show you guys. So I end up using multiple planners of multiple sizes and I absolutely love it because that's what works perfectly for me. And the reason why I love the disc bound system that Happy Planner provides for us is that it allows us to do this exactly. So I got a little tired of my last uh, front it was just kind of plain and it said happy plans. And so I ended up finding this homebody one on clearance recently and I just loaded that haul up for you guys on my YouTube channel. But this is the homebody one and it says there is beauty and simplicity and then I changed out my discs to just black discs so that it'll end up going well with absolutely every planner that I have put in here. So if we go ahead and we open up our planner a lot of my classic size ones are here in the front. And so what I ended up doing, because there's two extra discs for each classic size, I kind of laid them differently in here so that all the extra bulk isn't only up here or only down here or only in the middle. That way it kind of keeps it so that it's, it's pretty flat when it's on its side, like it ends up working really well for me. And so this first one is my fitness planner. So this is our April that we are currently using. And then I went ahead and I put May into it because I'm getting ready to film a few of my May ones here for you. So um, we need to do our calendar to get it all ready for the month. And then I also need to do the first week in May. So then if you end up flipping, like I said, I end up stacking this. So this is my fitness one this is my meal planner. And so it's nice and easy to be able to differentiate between the two or flip exactly where I want because I know my meal planner is at the bottom. So I just have April and May in here for my meal planner. And you could see some weeks I'm really good about using this and then other weeks I'm kind of dropping off. Um, but we need to, for May, I don't really do anything with the calendar part of May. These are grocery lists, recipes, and then we need to go ahead and plan out this coming week for our meals. Then if I go ahead and flip, so that's two planners already in here, then I have my daily plan with me. So this isn't something that I have really shown on YouTube, but I have shown it on my Instagram. I have plenty of reels and pictures and all that kind of stuff in my dailies. And so I kind of enjoy doing these because it's just something to keep me really focused. I don't think it's something I need to do absolutely every single day. I end up not using this. It was supposed to be on the weekend. I was super busy at work. And honestly, it wasn't my absolute favorite, but it's not saying I can't go back and still use it. But anyways, this is today's that we're using. I end up accidentally skipping over and I did Wednesday and Thursday over here but I didn't want to waste this really pretty Disney one that I had made so this is today that we are working on all right so you can see this is the last one that we end up having um, this will be for Monday I decided I'm just not going to do them on the weekends because I work and I just feel like it's a waste there's like no extra time to get anything else done and so this will be Monday's and so usually on Mondays, I try to get some filming done. And then every single day, my goal is dishes and countertop is cleared. All right, so that is the third one that is in here. Then this is just extra notebook paper that I can end up writing down whatever I need. Right now, I have the Miss Maker notebook paper, but I have a whole bunch of different sizes and designs and everything that I could switch it out as I need. Then this is a classic size folder and I end up using it. I kind of have everything in the back right now. And so I thought keeping it up front with the classic size items made a lot of sense to me. All right, so you can see up front here so far then we have one, two, three planners and then extra supplies that we might need. Then next is my big vertical catch-all planner. And so this has everything that I need Four, we have April, May, June, July, and August. Because it's summertime, there's a lot of different schedules changing, a lot of things coming up that I need to know about. So I felt like I definitely needed that many months to keep this really functional for me. But it fits in here perfectly. You can't even tell that this is a whole bunch of different planners. 
All right, so add this to the three. That's our fourth planner. Then what I did for the next one, because I feel like this planner is personal life, this planner is work life. So if I flip it open, I can literally have a new planner front. Like I can have it so that this is the front of the planner instead. This is my work planner, so grace for today. This has everything for both my YouTube channels and both my Instagram channels. So my YouTube channels are The Absolute Mom, and then my planning channel is Planning with Jamie, obviously, and then I have an Instagram account for both of those also. So like I said, this is my work one, and if we flip it open right here, this is my planner for the absolute mom. And so I have the rest of April in here, May, and then June, because I feel like it's nice and skinny. I can have quite a few months in here. And then this isn't my favorite. I think I'm going to cover it up with some pretty like cardstock or something like that. But what I wanted out of this planner for the Planning with Jamie YouTube channel, I wanted a very neutral, let me find us a neutral page right here. I wanted a very neutral big dashboard and this was clearanced out for I think like $9.97 and so it's absolutely perfect for me. So the fact that just these are what I don't like, these are easy to cover up. These are easy to do differently. And so all I need to do is go down in my little craft room, find some cardstock that I really love, end up taping it all together, and boom, I've got one that I really, really love. All right, so we had three, four, and now we're looking at, this is the fifth planner, and this is the sixth planner. So you can see right here, I have classic and big right next to each other. It makes no difference. Like when I open this up to write on it, it's flat all the same. Or if I open up this one to write on it, it's flat. Like even writing, it goes down a little bit here, but considering you could take these pages out, it makes it nice and easy that I don't have to really deal with that part. Or I could just flip the book around and now you can see it's nice and flat. I'm pushing really hard and there's no give at all. And so I've really liked this. I just did this this last week and I find that it is very, very helpful and very, very beneficial. So the other size I end up using quite often are the half sheets. So they are, they can be classic size or they can be big size, but they just go halfway down. And so I just end up clicking those in wherever I need them throughout the month. Um, like right here, I have a half sheet. It ended up, it was a full sheet, and then I ended up folding it in half so that I have multiple areas that I can write on, and that's why my tips to you is utilize things in a different way, because it really, really works. So this, for this week, this was my huge to-do, like brain dump, and then I end up putting it throughout the week wherever I need. All right, let me know. Do you guys Franken plan? Do you guys think that this would be beneficial and useful for you? Obviously, it's easy if you have a big to put the classic in, so it would not work the other way around. Um, but yeah, I have six planners plus extra notebook pages and folders in here, and it is the exact size of just one big planner. It's actually probably a little bit smaller than that even. So I highly recommend do what you need to do to make your planner perfect for you. All right, I will see you on the next one. Bye.